Girl, 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 this is crazy. Jacob Kahai Noor, and we are with Crave TV tonight. And let me tell you, Atlanta has a treat for you all. Tonight, I am with the CEO of Elite Marketing Strategies. She's an author, a direct sales expert, a fashion expert, and a highly noted speaker and trainer. I'm talking about the one, the only, Lisa Nicole Cloud. Tonight, she's having a fashion show, and let me tell you, this place is over, okay? It's beautiful, it's nice, everybody is here, and tonight, we're going to enjoy a beautiful, a fabulous fashion show, all right? So sit back and enjoy. Is it peculiar that she twerk? How's it going? I'm here with Deja, Hi. one of the models of the show. So how was the experience? It was absolutely amazing. Lisa Nicole is an amazing designer, as you can see from her right. collection. So I, I was honored to see, be asked to be a model. Awesome. So uh, what was your favorite um, design? I came out with this fur, okay. and I felt like, okay, I'm on top of the world. Like, I'm a <laughs> boss with this fur. You're the boss I'm with the it. boss. I love that. So, yeah. Did you get to uh, work with Nicole? I actually done a show for her before. Okay. So I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm honored to see the actually do another one. Right. So, yeah. How is it like working with her? Like, tell us who is she? Um, she is very particular about everything. Like, she, precise. She is precise. Like, she wants everything done. You can't go out looking a mess. Mm. So she's very particular about that. And that has to be an honor just to be one of her models. It is. I mean, hundreds of people came out to the casting, so I was honored just to be one of the models that she chose. And you did a great job. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. All right, you guys heard it here. you enjoy the fashion show? So it's great, man. It's great. It's great. And that and the collection, especially the fall collection, uh, I, I like it. And uh, now my wife is, uh, you know, <laughs> is looking <laughs> is looking up at this collection. It's really great. Man. Awesome. Good fashion show, good turnout. Man. You guys hear that? Tell us it. Good fashion show, good turnout. Good fashion show, good turnout. Baby, this Monday, we'll show you another way. Been trying for far too long. Come home and sing your song. But you got to testify Because the booty don't lie Oh no, the booty don't lie Don't know the booty don't lie Oh no, the booty don't lie Hey, how you guys doing? I'm Jacob Kahainor, and I am with Miss Brown. Let me tell you, sister for sister and for 25 years and counting. How you doing? I'm doing just fine. DJ and I are here tonight because this is a beautiful night for his mother. Yes. What do you think about your mom? Um, she's very sweet and kind. She's very, no whipping? She never gives you whipping? Sometimes. Do you think that she's creative? Yes. <laughs> and you're nine years old today? Yes. 
And I, the reason that DJ is here is he is nine years old. Sometimes the family has to sacrifice, even though it's his birthday, we're here to celebrate his mom because the family sacrifices yes. in order for us to have our successes. Did you like everybody screaming happy birthday to you? Yeah. Yeah, you had a lot of love. You're a very, very loved child. Yeah. <laughs> you say yeah. So how did you enjoy the show? I thought it was amazing because I was surprised. I had seen part of her collection, but not all of it. Uh -huh. And I was surprised at how creative it was. Yes. And yet so different. You know, it wasn't always the same kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Same thought pattern there. It had she different was, themes. Yes, it did. What was your favorite piece? Uh, what? <laughs> Are you walking? Are you guys on them? Yes. I'm so sorry. They're coming. Hey, okay. Lisa. They're coming back. What was your favorite piece? Uh, yes. What was your favorite piece? As you see, it's crazy here. No. Did, did you guys see that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we can't just ignore that. Did y'all see that? It's crazy. Here, okay. I can't say what was the favorite piece because uh, there were there were some pieces that were good for for office and some pieces that were good for uh, play. Right. So that, uh, there were about, I guess, about seven things that I would take out of your mom's collection <laughs> I would want to buy from her. Okay, and uh, Miss Brown, for those of you uh, that don't know who you are, please introduce yourself. I'm Jamie Foster Brown. I'm the publisher of Sister to Sister Magazine, short magazine, baby. Yes. Uh, it's 25 years old. It's like People Magazine for African Americans. So I have documented for 25 years the lives of all the so all the stars that you see today. Beyonce, Jay Z, you know, uh, Usher. But I was writing about them years ago before anybody else was writing. Them. Isn't that amazing? And just to see them now. Yeah. I mean, how does it make you feel? I feel okay, but you know what? One of the things that bothers me about our people is that we start off in the black community, and, but they leave us and, and they forget about us. Forget about us, and that's not good. We need the support. We need to support each well, other they need so to elevate, much more. They need to elevate us like we elevated them. Right, definitely. Yeah. I'm definitely with you on that. Yeah. All right. Well, we had a great time. I enjoyed you. you. Give me some love. How's it going, Dwight? It's great, thank you. Can sir. I have you talk on the mic, please? If you must. Yes, I must. Okay. I must hear your voice, Dwight. Okay. How you doing? I'm great. Thank you so much for asking. Great. You did a great job today. Thank you so much. You all, you. You're welcome. Did you enjoy the show? Yes, I did. It was uh, uh, quite an undertaking to take on this responsibility, but as a creative director, I think we created uh, the looks that was uh, really a signature and statement piece for Atlanta and uh, the world. You guys did your thing. It was elegant. It had class. I mean, I, I, I love it. I felt like I was almost in Milan somewhere. You could have been anywhere in the world, not just Milan. You could okay. have been anywhere. And that's what the collection was all about. Definitely. Well, I enjoyed you. Anything you want to tell the people out there? Good evening and good night. I will love who I am. Hey, how's it going? I'm Jacob Kahainor, and I am with the beautiful Lisa Nicole Cloud. How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Thank you so much for coming out and supporting. Thank you for having me. Let me tell you, I enjoyed your fashion show. You. you had beautiful women. The shoes were on point. The clothes were on point. It, it, it was great. It could have been on 
music videos, talk shows, anywhere. Thank you. I loved it. Thank you so much. You know, when I designed the collection, I wanted, I was thinking of successful, powerful, confident mm -hmm. women. You know, it didn't matter the industry you were in, whether you were in the entertainment industry, whether you were a business professional. The garments, you know, are very diverse and you can wear them in the office and take them off in the evening for a cocktail hour. So, you know, they're very, very chic and fashion forward and they leave enough to the imagination where they're so very elegant and classy. You guys see that? And you know, just meeting, you're just so humble. You're so sweet. I thought you was going to be like, yeah, I'm going to you know. And for starters, can you please introduce the people to that don't know who you are? Okay. My name is Lisa Nicole Cloud. I am the designer and CEO of the Lisa Nicole Collection, um, LisaNicoleCollection.com, and I'm also a businesswoman. So I also teach other people who have passions and want to turn them into profits how to start businesses successfully. And so I made my money in business, and then I started the clothing line. Congratulations. Thank you so now much. you know we all want to know. Yes. Are the rumors true? Yes. What? Are you going to be starring in the upcoming season of Bravo's hit reality TV, Married to Medicine? And if you are, please give us the details and the juice. Okay, here's the tea, uh, as my good friend uh, says. What I is always it? tell her, here's the Earl Grey, right? <laughs> okay. Nicole. What's the Earl Grey? Here's the Earl Grey. Do, do it for me again. Here's the Earl Grey. Okay? You hear that? So, yes, I am one of the new TV talent on Bravo's Married to Medicine. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank you, but yes. I am also one that is going to be very positive. You're not going to see you. me bringing a lot of drama. I wanted to be an example because I don't think all women are out there fighting and being catty and not believing in sisterhood and embracing one another. So, you know, I mentor some of the ladies that want, you know, advice about different aspects of business. Um, and I also believe in sisterhood. So you'll see this season there's a lot of sisterhood. There are some cast members that are having some challenges with okay. each other, but it's going to be a season. You can look forward to a lot of excitement. <laughs> enough drama, but enough positivity. And we need that. We need yes. that inspiration. We need that motivation. Yes. And you're going to give it to yes, us. I am. Now we know you are a fashion beast. Thank you. We want to know what you got on. I mean, I want you to dissect that look from head to toe. Give it to me. Well, this season is a lot of French lace okay. in the collection. So we have lace. We have the mesh, okay, that gives a little, uh, little imagination. Uh -huh. yeah, you can see just enough to not see anything, okay. right? But to make it very appealing to the eyes. Gotcha. Okay. Um, this is one of our pieces in our signature collection. It's not very expensive. How You'll much? How much to go for? This piece is three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars. Okay. Yeah, you'll find nice. you'll find that our pieces are not going to break the bank. They're affordable. You know, any woman in business deserves to treat themselves to something nice. These are garments that are going to be quality mm -hmm. and they're going to last and they're going to exude confidence, power, and success. Nice. And you, you do jewelry too, as well. I do. I have a jewelry. Uh, any jewelry that you're wearing? No. Not okay. Right now. Not right now. <laughs> okay. Hey, how's it going? This your daughter? Yes, this is my baby. Yes. What's her name? What's this her is name? Amira Faye. Amira. And this, she means... This is not even No, on. this is... Her name means princess, and she is definitely my little princess. Okay, she's going to be a part of the show as well? You'll see her on here okay. there, yes. Okay, well, let's get back to business. Yes. As Miss Millionaire and Lisa the Fabulous Designer, how do one with so much... Sassy, so well educated businesswoman. How do you succeed? You know, I was reading it and I know that you were raised under a single parent. Yes. And, you know, in today's time, we feel that you must have two parents in order to be successful. But you only did it with your mom. My mom raised me. She was a great role model. I believe your children should not have to leave their front door to find their role models. Okay. And so she was a great role model. She showed me that whatever I put my mind to, I could achieve. And she told me that my attitude determined my altitude. So if I think I can, I'm right. You heard that. Yes. Yes. And how can I forget you're a founder of Women Empowerment Network. Yes, yes. So That's tell us foundation. about the organization and what are your goals? Um, it's an organization that brings women together, different organizations affiliate with the entity, and we do events. Okay. And organizations use it as a fundraiser to raise money for their nonprofits. And it's an organization that embraces sisterhood and positivity and motivation and inspiration. We help people grow personally.
personally, professionally, financially, and spiritually. Yes, and just by logging into your website, I was just motivated. It was just so vibrant. Yes, and yes. I know you're the queen of marketing. Please tell us out there, what are the benefits and downfalls of it all? Well, you work hard, you know, and anytime you are achieving success, you're going to make some sacrifices. Right. I always tell people short-term sacrifices for long-term gains. Okay, and don't get discouraged, right? Don't get discouraged. Quitting is never an option. Quitting Just is never an option. Stay focused and keep your mind, eye on the prize.